Hello and welcome to Gardens Now. I received a lot of great feedback and questions from my How to Overseed Your Lawn video, so I figured a follow-up video would be a great idea. One of my neighbors had a great question. Why would you want to overseed your lawn? To put it briefly, grass will not have a 100% survival rate year after year. Stress from foot traffic, damage from a pet, harsh weather, and a million other things can all contribute to grass dying, which makes the lawn look pretty thin. You can observe this by taking a quick and close look. The onlucky grass will leave bare soil, which will result in a poor aesthetic. Weeds love to grow in open soil. Overseeding will improve the aesthetic and prevent new weed growth without the need of herbicide. Weeds do not like to grow on thick lawns. There is just too much competition for water, nutrients, and sunlight. Two horticultural professors also gave me some great feedback. Frost and volatile weather can cause you to lose roughly 20 to 30% of the seed. However, this loss is tolerable, as the short-lived grass will give you great protection against the weeds of spring. I received a ton of questions about scheduling overseeding with aeration and fertilizing. You should first consider if you even need to aerate. You only need to aerate if your lawn gets a lot of traffic, has compacted soil, or gets easily waterlogged. If you don't have any of these problems, then you don't need to aerate. Many lawns will be fine without any aeration. If you need to aerate, the timing between this and seeding requires making a trade-off. Aerating on top of seed or young grass will kill some of it. On the other hand, you get best results from aerating when soil temperatures will be between 60 and 75 degrees for about six weeks after aerating. Waiting this long to overseed will be as nearly as helpful in weed prevention. You'll get some benefit overseeding this late, but not as much as when done earlier in the spring. It comes down to what's a bigger problem? A thin lawn or compacted soil? If thinness, then aerate first followed by overseeding. If compaction, then seed in the spring and aerate later. Most fertilizer won't hurt young grass. However, it is still worthwhile to double check the label. Many weed and feed-like products are likely to injure or even kill young grass. They can be even more damaging if they say weed preventer. For the Sunday customers watching, none of our pouches will injure or kill young grass. I wouldn't adjust your fertilizer schedule because of overseeding. In fact, I'll probably fertilize in the next few days. This won't help the seeds at all, but is rather for the established lawn. A great tip that somebody told me is that if you mow while bagging before removing the debris, the mower will actually suck up a lot of the debris, making the job easier. Some people like doing this on a lower mowing setting. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to risk injuring the established lawn. It's fine if you want to mow a little bit lower. Just don't get too crazy with it. You only need to go a notch or two lower than you normally do. While helpful, I still advise that you do some debris removal with a rake. I am going to water this time. There's not a lot of precipitation in the forecast, and this area of the lawn was surprisingly thin. I want the grass to start growing immediately. A family member asked how to know if overseeding worked. That's a great question. However, it's very hard to film with my current camera. Instead, I'll show you a little trick to know if overseeding worked. Get a little pot, fill it with native soil, Pack it with the grass debris on top to mimic the lawn. Top it with seed and leave it near your lawn. It is important to use native soil as potting soil will have a better result that's not really comparable to what's happening on your lawn. If you see grass emerge from this little pot, then you'll know overseeding worked. Now, this method isn't perfect as the pot will probably have warmer soil temperature and it won't be subject to foot traffic. It will have a comparable result, but it won't be perfectly apples to apples. That answers most of the questions I received. Do you have a question that went unanswered? 
let me know in the comments section. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Is there a lawn or garden topic that you want covered? Let me know in the comments section as well. I make these videos for you.